Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you uh, some idea I found on Pinterest. It's these uh, fabric bulbs and I would like to share uh, my spin on this idea. Uh, my sons gave me a few days ago a uh, few jeans they don't want to wear anymore. So I decided to use the, the denim for my creation. So first what I did, uh, I took some old paper, I folded uh, half and then I draw kind of like a half bulb. The neck of that bulb and the body of that bulb, it's pretty much very simple shape. Then I took jeans and with double layer of that fabric, I'm gonna place my bulb shape on that fabric and cut it out like this. So I do have two pieces cut out from those jeans. I'm gonna place them face to face so that inside denim is now outside like this. And with my sewing machine, I'm gonna sew the edge with zigzag stitching the edge of my bulb on uh, on all this half and uh, I will end up somewhere here so this top I'm gonna leave open so I do have sewn my bulb body I'm gonna turn it over I'm gonna so I do have a body for my bulb and I'm gonna take this stencil and white acrylic paint and I'm gonna stencil the, uh, the this uh, writing on my bulb just with easy dubbing From one side I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do exactly the same from opposite side. Once it's dry uh, you can start to stuff your sh shaped or your shape or that pulp. You've got here this craft molitan. You can buy it in bulks and it's specially made for craft. It's not sure what is it if they cut mattresses for pieces. <laughs> Look at that way. <laughs> so I'm pushing that molitan uh, to all those shapes, to all edges, to make it to spread it evenly. And because I am already on the top, I'm gonna take a needle and thread. And I'm gonna start to sew. So I'm gonna grab the fabric here where I still have stitching from my sewing machine and kind of pull those sides together. Always put a little bit of fabric on my needle from outside and again from that opposite side. And pull it together. This will be hidden behind the Utah string, so I'm not afraid it will be if it will be a little bit visible right now. And I'm gonna add there a little bit more. So now I can fold these edges inside. like this. I'm gonna push it a little bit more inside. And now with same stitching I'm gonna pull those edges of that fabric together and the 
here on the end. One more time to pull it together. I'm gonna try to spread that monitor evenly. And I'm gonna go with my needle inside and pull it out from somewhere here on that opposite side. Put the thread about half inch behind and I'm gonna take Utah string and the glue and I will start to create that top of my bulk that um, you know that neck of my bulb. So I'm gonna put a glue around the neck of that bulb. And I will start to wrap it all around. And here on the top, I'm gonna put another coat of glue because I don't want to slide it down over that edge. And I'm gonna wrap a little bit more here to make sure it will get glued. I'm gonna hold it here with my fingers. I add there a little bit more glue, especially here on the top. And a little bit more glue. And a little bit more Utah string. I think like this. I'm gonna add glue here. And hold it together until it will get glued and dry nicely and I'm gonna make a bunch of them like this <laughs> so I have created uh, I think 15 of these bulbs so I've got here this beautiful rope uh, I'm gonna start with ends I think I'm gonna make there some loop I've got the Utah string on on the needle as well and I'm gonna sew the ends together and kind of wrap it all around. And sew it together. And I'm gonna make a wrap. And again, I'm gonna use glue to glue that Utah string all around to make sure it will hold properly. And make a nice wrap. Like this. Here I'm gonna make a knot. And I'm gonna take one side bull and I will try to sew it to my rope. So I will go around like this, just easy around sewing. And inside to the pulp and outside from opposite side. And here I'm gonna wrap it around 
and use a glue again to glue the end. So wrap it around, make a knot. At the end, put there a glue and that end I'm gonna wrap it around and secure it all together. Like this. So we do have first one done. I'm gonna make opposite side exactly same. First I'm gonna make a loop. Yeah, like this. Now I'm gonna start to wrap it around. I'm gonna put there a glue to make sure it will hold properly. And I'm gonna take another one and go exactly same. Just around. The rope. Like this. And now around. Where is my needle? Here is my needle. So from here. And once it's sewn around again, wrap it around, make a knot. Oops, okay. Here I can put the glue and wrap it around the neck and nicely secure it. Now I'm gonna go in the middle of that rope and sew another one. And with this, like, uh, partitions, making partitions by uh, folding the rope on the half, I will continue with sewing each of these bulbs. So I have them all on my rope. To sew a single bulb on the rope, I'm taking the bulb and I do have that uh, Utah string on, on my needle. So I'm going through to that top of that bulb, like this. Here I'm gonna fix it. So first I'm gonna make a knot. I'm gonna make a knot around that rope. And now I'm going to sew it a few times like before and finish it like before. Now I'm gonna put the glue here and from opposite side and I go with this here. Here I'm gonna twist this end around and I'm gonna go like opposite way with those ends. Yeah, come here. I'm kind of twisting them around that stitching. Like this and make sure it's gonna get glued. Here I can cut the ends. Here and I do have this one here. And if I'm not sure, I'm gonna just add a little bit more glue.
like this. So I do have all my sewing on that rope done and I've got here those slides and I will try to somehow wrap it together. Hopefully I didn't make a mess here now. <laughs> so I grabbed my light and I think I'm gonna start to somehow wrap it all around. So here on the end I'm gonna just put the lights around that rope like this and then I will just easily twist it around and it's rope long enough to go around my lights so I will place it on my window and show you how it looks like together and this is how it looks like I think I made it too long so this is my short sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you took some inspiration on how to recycle jeans thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye